Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news coming from Ypsilanti Township where four people are fighting for their lives after being shot. And we just learned three of those victims are teenagers. Good to have you with us at 11 o'clock. I'm Jason Colthorne. And I'm Rhonda Walker. The shooting happened near a home on George Place. This is near East Michigan Avenue. Victor Williams is there for us live. And Victor, I understand you talked to a witness who tried to help. Yeah, all of this is just so unfortunate, Jason and Rhonda. We know that the youngest victim was only 14. The oldest was 20. Take a look right behind me. This is the scene that has been this way for the past few hours. But we know that after the shooting happened, there was another crash near Michigan and Prospect where one person was in the right place at the right time. They fight for their life right now, but I pray that they Make it. Kendrick McBride is hoping he made a difference when he decided to help a car full of teens who had just crashed after being shot in Ypsilanti. You know, God told me open the back seat. I opened the back seat. He was slumped over. I grabbed him. I held his head straight. I just kept talking to him. You know, as he was going in and out. He got shot in the head. You know, he like. 19, 20 years old. Evidence markers show just how much gunfire erupted in the 800 block of George Place where the shooting originated. Jamie McKee was worried about her mother who lives nearby. Left, my mother called me, she said her car been hit. And I just want the gun violence to stop. Both are hoping for the best outcome possible. We really don't know what happened. We know four have been shot, but we don't know really what happened. And bullets hurt. Kendrick is especially pulling for the young man he helped to make it. Just praying with him, kept talk, telling him to talk to God, keep praying, keep talking to God, don't give up, don't give up. He didn't give up, you hear me? He was still breathing, you know, then the ambulance, it was like 10 minutes, it took 10 minutes for the ambulance to get there. And we are in the very early stages of the investigation. As you guys can see, all of these officers are still on the scene. They're looking for evidence. But as we understand, there is no one in custody just yet. So if you guys know anything watching police, they definitely want to hear from you. In Ypsilanti tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor, thank you. Also new tonight, community activist Malik Shabazz in the hospital suffering a heart attack this morning. That's according to his family. He was rushed to Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit. He is critical. We'll keep you updated on his condition. And by heard, I, I feel like I felt it all the time <laughs> wherever we were. Definitely from our downtown studio. And it was spectacular. Yeah. Those of you who saw it and were there, you know what I'm talking about. The 2023 Ford fireworks, uh, not about to let some rain dampen the show. Not at all. <laughs> it was an amazing night despite the rain. Then there was a little sun. There then was. there was rain again. Then there was a downpour. And then around 8, 30, 9 o'clock, it stopped. Yeah, it all stopped. <laughs> Our Mar McDonald live at Hart Plaza for us tonight. Mac, another spectacular show along the riverfront. Jace, I got to tell you, it was so beautiful. But here's the other thing. Take a look behind me. We're in the middle of Jefferson. I have never in all the years that I've been doing this seen Hart Plaza clear out this fast. I think everybody's a little bit soggy, but they still had a great time. Well, we've had better weather, but if you're all in, you're all in. We're not going to melt. <laughs> we'll be all right. <laughs> Don Burge has sat out in the rain for hours, picking a prime seat because this show is a tradition. Oh, the fireworks are awesome. They're so big. They're so loud. I love feeling the vibration in my chest. Same for the Richardson family, and they came prepared for any eventuality. Pray, sleep, hail, snow, as Michigan, so it might. <laughs> So we might have it all in one day. All the kids, including the baby, decked out to withstand the weather no matter what. It's uh, it's been a family tradition since 2007, since our first, uh, since our first born son. So it's been a goal of ours to make sure that uh, they get to see the Detroit fireworks every year. Some try to makeshift rain dance to make it all go away, which was successful for a minute. In the end, the raindrops made way for the most beautiful show, making it all so worth it.
back here live. They had some super cool new tech in the show this year. At one point, standing out here, it was almost like you were in a snow globe of confetti. It was really cool. But to give you an idea of what it's like out here right now, typically DPD would have its people moving people out and doing a push to get them out of downtown. I think everybody's, um, they've had enough of the rain. I think they're ready to go home and dry out. We're live downtown tonight at Hart Plaza. I'm Mara McDonald. Local four. And love that description, Mara, a snow globe. Of, I'm going to add twinkling confetti because I love the little sparkles. <laughs> twinkling confetti. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Mara. If you miss any of tonight's show, of course, we have you covered. You can replay it as many times as you want. The spectacular Ford Fireworks show is uh, right on our website. Click on Detroit.com as we speak. You can find the link on the home page. And the weather delivered finally. <laughs> And you know what's amazing? Kim Adams hasn't been glued to the radar like uh, for the past four days. It's finally cleared out of here. We don't have to know, worry right? about this radar. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a big golf tournament coming up. Oh, well, that's true. There's always some kind of pressure for an outdoor event. Right? I spent the last five hours saying, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You know, I'm sorry, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't control it, but I do feel bad when it dampens people's spirits. But I have to tell you, being out there myself tonight, uh, people were still in a pretty good mood. So we've got a couple of sprinkles left on Exact Track 40 radar. Of course, none of them are downtown now, uh, but we do want to do some exact track 40 street level mapping for you. And if you live in Farmington Hills, Northville, Novi, just getting a couple of sprinkles right now, just south of West Bloomfield and Franklin up to St. Clair County, where they're getting just a couple sprinkles right now. And Kimball headed over to uh, Port Huron and Marysville, but the uh, downpours are over and now we can look forward to a mostly cloudy night right now. Look at that skyline still has the haze and the smoke from all the fireworks. Speaking of smoke tomorrow morning, you'll be under an air quality alert. Temperatures tonight are in the mid to upper 60s throughout the day. Tomorrow we have another chance for a few showers. 74 will be the high. I'll time it out hour by hour in just a couple of minutes. All right, we'll see you here in a few, Kim. Meanwhile, at 11, Ford Motor Company confirming to CNBC that it is laying off more workers this week. Salaried workers in all sectors of the company are going to be impacted, including in the new electric division. There's no word on how many employees will lose their jobs, and Ford is not alone in this. Recently, General Motors and Stellantis began reducing headcount by laying off some workers and offering buyouts to others. Tonight, a warned police officer out of a job for assaulting a prisoner. The decision coming after an internal investigation into excessive force by Matthew Rodriguez at the jail in Warren. Security camera video showed Rodriguez punching a 19 year old prisoner in the fingerprinting room before slamming his head into the floor and then tossing him into a cell. Commissioner Bill Dwyer said the decision to fire Rodriguez is clear and obvious. A gas station owner in Clarkston on alert as thieves target his business. Yeah, and surveillance video shows thieves loading up and running out with items from the store. And this store hit twice in one week. The first time cameras catch a blue Jeep commander with three teens inside when two of them run inside of the store and rush out with bottles of liquor. The owner is concerned for the safety of the customers and the employees. State officials believe a new investment will help close the digital divide for thousands of Michiganders. Michigan will receive more than $1.5 billion to expand Internet access. It's a part of President Biden's plan to give every American household access to high-speed Internet by 2030. As many as 200,000 Michiganders in underserved communities could benefit from this.